Hey, what's up, high levelers? In this video, we're going to talk about custom fields. Now, if you're not familiar with custom fields, these are basically fields inside Go High Level that can pertain data for each individual, like first name, email, and phone number. Now, in this video, you're going to learn how to create custom fields in different parts of Go High Level and how can you organize and use them in the best way possible. So, let's say you are a real estate agent, you have an account in Go High Level. Now, these are the custom fields that will be available to you by default. So, there's three kinds of categories or folders. One one is content information which has custom fields like first name last name email phone number then we have general info which includes business and address details and then we have additional info which is usually empty and you can add more custom fields to it now there is a way we can add more folders or more categories as well as we can create more custom fields based on our liking so if you are a real estate agent who does selling and buying as well this is a perfect example of what we can do so we already have content info general info Info, and we can create all these custom fields like for buyers and for sellers so I'm gonna show you an example in go high level how can you create a buyer and seller folder or categories and then how can you create all these custom fields in different places for go high level so let's dive in and take a look all right so once you are in your go high level dashboard all you have to do is head over to settings and then head over to custom fields right here now here you can see all the custom fields that exist in your system usually these are the ones by default and if you click on folders, you can see the three categories of the folders that I talked about. So we have contact, general info, and additional info. Now you might be wondering that how can you see these categories for a specific contact? So let's take an example. I'm going to open this contact right here. As soon as you open that, you will see that on the left side, we have these categories or folders. So we have under contact, we have all the custom fields like first name, last name. And if I close that down, you can see general info, which again has the business name and address details. And then we have additional info here as well. Now, if I go back to custom fields, if I go to folders again, we can actually create more folders. So you can use additional info if you want. But for now, I'm going to create this right here, which is the buyer category or folder. So in order to do that, all you have to do is click on add folder and then you can name it buyer. And then you can select the object as contact. So this is where you basically decide you want to attach this custom field to the context specifically or the opportunity. So for now, we're going to leave it to contact and then hit save. Then I'm going to create another one which will be for the seller. So if we do that right here and hit save. That's pretty much it. Now we have to create these custom fields like type of property, number of rooms and all that stuff. Now if I go back to Go High Level, there's two ways to do this. One is if you are in settings and custom fields where I am right now, you can create custom fields from here by clicking on add field. And then there is another way where you can create custom fields inside the forms or surveys. So in order to do that, you can head over to forms or you can head over to surveys under sites, then open a form. And then when you click on the plus icon here, you can click on custom fields and then you see this option on the bottom of your screen which says add custom fields then here you can decide the type of input you want in that custom field so let's say if you want to take text we can select single line and then click on next and then here you can select the group or the folder that it will go to so you can see that we have the buyer and seller category now which was not there before so this is a custom folder that we just created so now let's create some custom fields here i'm going to show you both ways so you can understand how this would work now the first one that i'm going to create is the type of property so for that i'm going to head over back to the type of input and we're going to select drop down single and then click on next now under the group i'm going to select buyer because you can see that we want to create this under the buyer folder so let's come back here and then here you can select the options like what type of properties do you want to input so you can add options like condo flat house i'm just going to use these for now you can of course customize it now if you're happy with that you can click on save and then this custom field will be saved in both places like in the form as well as here as well so once the custom field is created all you have to do is just search for it after a few seconds and then drag that inside the form and then you can start using it so this is how you can use custom fields inside the form now if i head over back to the main settings and i've already refreshed this so if i go to folders and then if i click on the buyer folder you will see that we have the type of property existing here so let's say you don't want to create your custom fields inside forms or services like i showed you you can do it very easily in this menu as well all you have to do is click on add field here it's the same layout it's the same workflow so let's take another one so as you can see we have number of rooms so i'm going to select the number input here then hit next and then here you can select number of rooms 
and then under the group you can say buyer it is chosen as default because i was already creating it under that folder and then here you can add the placeholder like please enter the number of rooms you want and then once you are done just hit save and this should be saved now that we have created this custom field here you can still use it in your servers and forms it doesn't matter wherever you create it all you have to do is come back to the form again and i'll quickly show you if you go to custom fields and search for number of rooms you can again drag it in your forms or surveys it already has the placeholder that we put in so this definitely works both ways now let's talk about if you already have a custom field existing and you want to move that to a specific folder just like we have a buyer folder right here so i created this custom field right here which is how soon you want to buy now this is by default showing under the contact group or folder now let's say you want to move it under buyer how can you do that so again it's very simple all you have to do is select this right here then under bulk actions click on move to group and then here you can select the folder you want to move this custom field to so because we want to move this to the buyer one i'm going to select that and then hit move and that's it so if i head over to the folder now click on buyer we should have our custom field right here which is pretty cool and then you can also easily edit custom fields if you click on quotation right here you can click on bulk actions and then hit edit and here you can change the name add in a placeholder or anything you like and once you're done just hit save and that is pretty much it now that we have created a few custom fields and some custom folders as well let's take a look where they will be visible for each contact so all you have to do is head over to contacts and i'm going to open this one as an example now if i minimize this contact group right here you can see we have the buyer folder as well as the seller so if i expand it you can see that we have the new custom fields we just created so it has the type of property you can choose that or set that from here and you can also see number of rooms and how soon you want to buy so these were the custom fields that we just created and now you can easily see them with the conversations or under the contact tab in a similar way if you want to create all these custom fields you can create them under the seller group or folder and this basically makes your life easier more organized and just make sure that you do not confuse any custom field with another and then you can also use them in forms and surveys as i showed you all right so that was all about custom fields i hope you found this video valuable and thank you for watching